this letter that was written by the governor of Central Bank to the financial secretary is the first time, perhaps, that we've seen some semblance of official declarations that we have suspected for a long time and that we've been concerned about for a long time. It is a very lengthy explanation and he attempts to give reasons why the government cannot disperse that amount or why the central bank cannot afford to disburse that amount to the government. He uses words like it would be destructive for the economy of Belize. Those are very strong words. He uses that there is only a limited amount of foreign exchange in the system when all along we have been told that we have in fact 1,000 million or 1 billion almost in reserves. And for $70 million to shock the system in such a manner, such a manner is extremely uh, disturbing to say the least because we've been told all along that we have sufficient reserves and that our reserves are healthy. It goes on to say that um, we have problems because of the correspondent banking relationships. And it goes on to say that we've had a recent increase in net outflows. We've known this, we've spoken about this before, that our exports continue to fall and our imports continue to rise. And we don't have a way to replenish this foreign exchange. And that has been very concerning for the business community because we believe that there needs to be a consorted effort with the business community and government to grow our exports.